morning friends welcome to, to to the cc live transmission and uh, dear friends uh, we are pleased to announce that uh, we have uh, conducted numerous session under the series uh, marketing management and uh, today uh, we would be conducting a session on uh, introduction to marketing we would be discussing in detail what marketing is and for this discussion we have once again with us in our studios dr swati agrawal dr swati agrawal is uh, assistant professor and uh, she is currently teaching in um, Zakir Hussain Delhi College University of uh, Delhi so dear friends uh, we would like to welcome our guest dr swati agrawal and before that uh, we would like to announce that if you want to ask uh, any kind of question relating to marketing uh, from dr swati agrawal you can talk to us live through our toll free number our toll free number is 1800 One one zero four three zero. This is our toll-free number through which you can ask questions. And dear friends, you are requested to call in the last ten minutes uh, of the lecture so that your queries are also resolved and uh, you get maximum knowledge. So let's welcome our guest, Dr. Swati Agrawal, and uh, let's try to understand what marketing is. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to the Dissect Lecture. Thank you, Kitika. Good morning, viewers. Today I will be talking about introduction to marketing. as we all know that world economy has undergone a radical transformation in the last two decades and with the advent of global computers and aeroplanes geographical and cultural differences or distances they have shrunk significantly so due to this it has permitted companies to widen substantially both their markets and their supplier sources if we talk about markets so previously it was presumed that market is something which is associated with the geographical areas but nowadays wherever there are potential customers who have a particular need or want and who might be willing and able in engage in exchange to satisfy that need or want at that particular place of time we can say that we have be a market so there are two forces which are essential in order to for any market to take place that is a marketer and a prospect or a customer if you talk about a marketer a marketer is someone who is seeking one or more prospects who might be willing or able in engage to uh, engage in an exchange to satisfy or to get some value from the products which they are buying similarly on the other hand we have a prospect or a customer it is someone whom the marketer identifies as potentially willing and able to engage in an exchange of values so unless and until we have a marketer and we have a prospect there is a flow between these two no marketing can take place so in the words of philip kotler we can say marketing is nothing but it is a social and managerial process by which individuals and groups they obtain what they need and want to creating offering and exchanging products of value with others if we have a close look at this definition which has been given by philip kotler as regards marketing is concerned we can say that it is something which is a social process social because we are concerned with the human beings because our customers they are humans and psychology of customer and the behavior which they will be portraying during different stages of their purchase is very essential and it is the key of marketing we can say it is a managerial process because several aspects of management uh, be it planning organizing directing or controlling they all are required in order to manage several marketing activities of any organization now if we talk about the individuals any individual or if we talk about the customers marketing begins with the identification of needs and wants of the individuals these are the several core concepts of marketing which needs to be taken care of need is a state of deprivation of some basic satisfaction that is all human beings they have a need of food clothing shelter and they exist in the very texture of human biology 
human conditions and these are something which are not created by marketers wants they are the desires for specific satisfiers of needs human needs are few but wants are many and it is the want at which marketers they can have a bearing effect another concept which has been given by the definition of marketing is the demands demand is nothing but it is the wants for specific products which is backed by an ability and willingness to buy that means unless and until the person have the purchasing power or the ability to buy a particular product no demand can be created in the market and this demand will be of certain type of products so we can say that product is anything that can be offered to satisfy a need or a want of the prospective customers this product could range either from an idea to a good to a service or even for that matter to an experience so if we combine all these aspects with the management aspect we get the term marketing management and that is what the subject matter is all about marketing management is nothing but it is the process of planning and executing the conception pricing promotion and distribution of ideas goods and services to create exchanges for achieving customers and organizational goals so it is very important that the base should be the needs and want of the target customers then keeping in mind the needs of the customers products are created they are priced according to the uh, willingness or say according to what value the people are deriving from the product similarly products are distributed they are made available to the customers at the right time and the right place and promotional decisions are also taken into consideration promotion talks about informing and persuading the customers about the product that where that product is actually available and what is the need that the product is going to satisfy so the essence of this marketing is, lies in the fact that exchange should take place between the marketer and the customer and once this exchange has taken place the ultimate goal of the organization and customers should be achieved which is nothing but the value that the customers derive from the product that they are purchasing from a particular marketer at any point of time in the words of edsel walker and stanton marketing has been defined as a total system of interacting business activities which are designed to plan price promote and distribute want satisfying goods and services to present and potential customers so every definition of marketing management actually talks about four basic decisions related to product price place and distribution and these are the major topics which we would be discussing in detail in the later parts of our discussions so in if we want to understand marketing management there are several concepts and several things which needs to be taken care of in uh, easier terms or in simpler terms we can say it is the nature or characteristics of marketing which needs to be understand so that we can understand marketing management in a better manner initially we can state that marketing is something which is related to business or we can say that it is a business function business comprises of several activities it includes production finance hrm and marketing is one of those functions but now in today's world it has been understood by business houses that marketing is not something which is just catering to the sales and marketing department but it is the responsibility and the duty of each and every uh, activity or department of the business that they should be into marketing suppose if we take a small example here if we are entering into any organization or say if we are entering into any hotel uh the first contact between the customer and the organization is through the front level employees or we can say the receptionist who is sitting in the reception area so it is very important that the contact which the receptionist is making with the customer it should be in a very friendly manner and it should have a long lasting impact on the customers because they should get the feel that yes the the person who is sitting on the other side of the table is actually interested in knowing what the customer needs are and what exactly their queries are similarly if we say that if a person enters into any retailing uh, retail clothing uh, house for so uh, the remittance to uh, the person uh, billing cycle should be 
very less waiting hours at the billing counter should be less and for that matter the invoice which the person is getting from the uh, that retail store it should be buyer friendly they should be able to understand the amount of taxes which they have did, uh, added in their bills and uh, things like that so the entire essence is that marketing nowadays is something which is not confined only to one department but it is an important business function in every or different departments of the organization should try and undertake marketing activities another important aspect related to marketing management is consumers consumers are the focal point of business and they are the focus we can say that customers are the kings every marketing begins with the customers and ends to the customers so we can say that needs and wants of the target customers is the starting point of any business activity and if a marketer wants to be successful they should clearly try and assess what the customers actually want and accordingly they should try to develop the product which should satisfy the needs of the target customers in the manner which provides value to them so that there is a win win situation both for the marketer and for the customer thirdly we can say that marketing is a process it is something which is not done in say just one go it is an ongoing activity and it has to take place at several levels value generation is something which needs to be understood by the marketers in the sense that what what are the things that customers value the most and they should try to uh provide this information to other departments of the organization as well so that while producing the product till the dispatching of the product they can take into consideration that what customers will value and accordingly they can provide the products to the customers now this value can be provided only through exchange so exchange should be done in such a manner that goals of the customers and that of the organizations should be met in a clear cut manner because customers they they want goods which they can value and which they they can feel satisfied with after using similarly business houses their main aim is profit maximization and that too it is possible in today's world of competition only if they can satisfy their customers better than their competitors next important aspect which needs to be understood in marketing management is the customer relationship and image building if we talk about customer relationship it is an essence in the sense that marketers nowadays are constantly involved in finding out or in try they are constantly involved in trying out that who would be the prospective customers they are not saying that since xyz is my customer so only i'll be talking to them or i would be dealing with them they are offering their products to as many prospective buyers as possible because they have this this thing in their mind that later on that that particular individual might convert uh, to be their customers and it is all, also important in building relationship that trust is the essence so they should try to win the trust of the customers because if they have been able to win the trust only then it will lead to loyalty and they will be able to retain their customers several researches have taken place in the marketing context and it has been find out that up to 6 times the cost of the marketer can be saved if they could retain their customer rather than going for new customer every time when they come up with the some new offer so it is always advisable for the marketer that they should try to retain their customers and they should try to value their customer similarly if any at any particular point of time some customers they have abandoned the firm or they have left the firm's products for some other competitive offers or offerings it is always advisable that marketers they should try and find out what were the reasons behind it and how they can again win over those customers back to their own organization another important aspect of marketing management which needs to be understood is the dynamic environment and sustainability dynamic environment is something which talks about the environment in which marketing is operating there are several forces which surrounds the marketing be it legal 
forces, economic forces, socio-cultural forces, technological forces or the natural environment. Since a marketer works under all these forces, so it is very important for the marketer to find out the new challenges and the threats which the environmental forces are posing on them and how they can convert those challenges into their strengths. That is the main challenge and that is the main sense of marketing nowadays. Finally, we can say that marketing is both a science as, an, as well as an art. It is not a pure science, it is a social science and it has borrowed from several other fields say anthropology, economics. At the same time, since we are dealing with human beings, so there is no sure shot formula which will work in all these situations. It has to vary depending upon the customers, depending upon the markets, depending upon the products that we are offering. So we can say that marketing at the same time is an art. Not pure art, but it is an imitating art. We are trying to find out new ways and creative ideas that how we can win over our customers. Marketing has got several functions ranging from exchange to physical supply to facilitating. If we go in detail about the functions of exchange, marketing involves two aspects, buying and selling. Buying of a raw material by a producer is one aspect of marketing. Buying of semi-finished products, converting them into finished products could be another form. And finally, buying of the finished forms and selling it to the retailers or directly to the customers could be another form. So all these aspects involve buying in one form or the other. Similarly, when buying takes place, suppose there is a wholesaler or a retailer who has bought uh, the finished products from several suppliers. Now comes the aspect of assembling. Because they have got larger inventory in their hand and they want to assemble the goods according to the needs, preferences, tastes of the target customers and according to the, uh, uh, to the demand of the market. Similarly, if we talk about the second exchange function which facilitates entire marketing is the selling aspect. Selling is something when the goods are made available to the customers for their use, for their consumption. That basically deals with and here from uh, getting the goods from the producer to the customer is the entire uh, essence of marketing. Second set of functions which we can discuss about in case of marketing is the functions of physical supply. Here two main aspects needs to be taken care of. One is the transportation. Transportation is nothing but how goods are being moved and how easily goods are being transported from the place of production to the place of consumption or from the place where they are uh, not much required to the place where the customers are located and where the need is uh, more urgent. So this entire transportation could be done via several sources. Uh, we can use airways, waterways, railways, depending upon the cost which a company can incur, depending upon the type of the products which they are handling. So all these considerations in, uh, are involved in transportation decisions. If we talk about storage or warehousing, here larger inventories needs to be carried up or keep on with the, uh, with the marketer because at no point of time it is advisable that marketer should go out of stock. The moment they are, they've gone out of stock in today's world of competitive environment, the customer will definitely move on to the other competing brands which are available in the market. So it's always advisable that economic order quantity should be taken care of, the point where reorder should take place and uh, how the goods are to be stored, which, which type of warehousing is required, uh, how the shipment will be received and whether they should have their own private warehouses or they should have the government warehouses or they should have the rented warehouses. All such decisions need to be taken under the functions of physical supply. In order to facilitate these two functions, that is the functions of exchange and the functions of physical supply, the third form of functions are the facilitating functions, which facilitates the marketer to ensure the speedy and the easy delivery of their goods from the point of production to the point of purchase. 
these facilitating functions includes financing because lot of money or lot of investment is required in order to carry stocks in order to transport the goods for uh, uh, channels which are being included in the entire process so financing could be done through banking sector second part or facilitating function which is very important is the risk taking because when the buyer is carrying the larger inventory then there is always the risk of loss of inventories maybe due to spoilage or during transportation goods might get evaporated so there are certain products that might get evaporated or if the uh, products are stored in a godowns then there are always certain sort of losses which can take place uh, there could be theft loss of theft there could be loss of fire or other natural calam calamities so for all these uh, i uh, programs or things which needs to be undertaken uh, it is very important that the marketers they should ensure the goods that they are buying so insurance can help them in taking the risk third aspect of facilitating function is the marketing information the information which the about the customers their needs what are their generic needs what are their stated needs what actually the marketer the customers require all these can be collected through marketing research activities another facilitating function is the standardization and grading because it is always better to uh, divide the entire product into the uh, the standards and the as per the grades which the product is carrying depending upon the quality of the product another important decision is related to branding and packaging branding basically divides the product or it gives identification to the product of one manufacturer vis a vis the competitors and if we talk about packaging or labeling decisions they are also giving uniqueness to the products and they help in protecting the products from several types of damages that we have uh, talk uh, talk about so far so all these facilitating functions enables the marketer and it ensures smooth flow of goods from production to the consumption sites so by having a look at the discussion that we have uh, uh, undertaken so far what is the importance of marketing and what is the significance of marketing why at all we need marketing marketing is the main reason for the existence of business in today's world unless and until marketing is taking place in the rightful manner no good can be sold because even before the production takes place marketing begins in the sense that in order to identify the needs and wants of the target market this is something which is related to marketing and once the selling has taken place even after that if the if we are doing the follow up with the customers and if we are trying to find out that whether the customers are satisfied or not what all changes they want in our product marketing even uh, exists after the selling after the consumption has taken place so it is the main reason for the existence of business and therefore it is very important from business point of view another importance of marketing is that it provides job opportunities and it has emerged as a very popular career nowadays marketing jobs they are the best uh, paid jobs in the industry nowadays and uh, people are more and more inclined towards marketing jobs because they are getting more opportunities it also helps in economic development because when uh, the demand is generated then automatically and the purchasing power of the people are increasing it leads to improve lifestyle and people are demanding more and more goods so some in one way or the other it helps in the economic development because seeing uh, consumption is increasing buying is increasing purchase pattern is changing so automatically more money is being uh, driven into the society another importance is it is a dy uh, dynamic process of society and it enhances the productivity because of technological innovations which are taking place every now and then marketing somehow it helps in finding out the changes that are being taking place in the dynamic environment and by keeping in view the changes we can enhance our productivity as well another significance of marketing is that it helps the management to direct towards stability and growth because marketing research constantly is involved in finding out information related to the market 
and that information can provide as a base towards the growth and stability because it will help the marketer to find out that what the customers value the most and uh, how they can have a competitive edge vis-a-vis their competitors. Marketing also helps in creating time, place and form utility. As we have talked about storage function, it helps in creating the time utility because there is always a gap between production and consumption. Similarly, uh, there is a gap between the uh, place of production and place of consumption. So, this place utility is uh, filled with the help of marketing through transportation. Marketing also facilitates purchases from around the globe with the advent of global computers nowadays and world has become one single market. So, no geographical differences nowadays exist and anybody can purchase just by clicking one button via internet or mobile marketing for that matter. Any product can be ordered around the globe and so marketing helps the customers and the marketers through internet. So, apart from this, we have several philosophies of marketing that have been evolved from time to time. These philosophies or evolution of marketing has taken place in a very phased manner. The process of holistic marketing that has emerged today, it has come up from production concept which was the earliest concept of marketing and rarely in few cases we can say that it exists in today's scenario. So, there are several philosophies of marketing that needs to be considered. First and the foremost is the production concept. Production concept basically holds that customers will favor those products that are widely available and that are low in cost. That means that organizations which are involved in production concept, they always try to achieve high production efficiency and wide distribution. The, their sole aim is that they want to reduce the cost of production and it is possible only through economies of scale. So, the assum assumption which holds this production concept involves two things. That means, it is possible only in those situations where demand exceeds supply or where the product's cost is the sole consideration. Customers, they are solely considered considering the cost as the basis. So, we can say that mantra is go for low cost and mass production. Several Japanese companies, they are undertaking production concept. Initially, when Bajaj scooter was launched in the market, there was a waiting period of around 5 years, which was a long time. And customers, they actually used to book those scooters. Similarly, when those state-owned telephone sets, they came up. There was a long waiting time. They used to get themselves registered. And after a few months, they could get the connection. So, production concept holds to in only in those situations where customers they prefer low cost goods. Second concept which emerged after the production concept was the product concept. This concept holds that customers will favor those products that offer most quality, performance or innovative features. Now if we talk about these quality, performance of innovative features, that means the main aim of the marketers under the product concept is to make superior product attributes and to bring about the improvements in the products over time because here the customers, they somehow get pleasure in comparisons. But the biggest flaw of the product concept is that the customer they become or the marketer they become the victim of better mousetrap fallacy. They believed that better mousetrap will lead the people to beat a part to its toe, but that was not correct. Theodore Levitt tried to relate this concept of myopia, which is the problem of short sightedness to marketing. And they, he came up with the concept of marketing myopia. That means under the product concept, it was considered that the marketers who consider their product 
only as a product but not as the need which the product is fulfilling they are suffering with this uh, problem of short sightedness and the the apt example is if suppose the company is saying that we are uh, selling televisions or music systems and not the they are not into music the entertainment business then that means that company is suffering from this marketing myopia in order to overcome this myopic behavior or retarded behavior it is always advisable that the marketers they should try to find out the generic need which their product is providing and whether the customers are finding that need to be suitable as per their requirements or not whether the product that they are offering it is of some value to the customer or not and if the product provides the value only then the marketer will succeed <laughs> continuing with the concept that have been emerged from time to time or the evolution that have taken place in the marketing concept from time to time the third aspect which came into picture was the selling concept here this concept holds that customers if left alone they will ordinarily not buy enough of the uh, goods so the marketers needs to undertake aggressive selling effort and aggressive promotion effort so that they can induce the customers to buy the goods that have already been produced till this stage mind it needs and preferences of the target market were not taken consideration they were not taken care of marketers they were trying to sell only the goods and services that they have already produced and the only effort which they were putting in was how to sell those goods rather than to find out that what customers actually want so their aim was to sell whatever has been made rather than to find out what market wants and in modern economies since we have the buyer markets so sellers they are scrambling hard to find out the customers so it is advisable that marketers they should go ahead from this selling concept and they should try to find out that how, what improve means they can undertake in their marketing effort next philosophy which came into picture after the selling concept was the marketing concept this concept holds that the key to achieving organizational goals consists of being more effective than the competitors in integrated marketing activities and here for the first time it was determined and it was the aim of the marketer was to satisfy the needs and wants of the target market they tried to find out that what the marketers customers actually want and how they can satisfy the needs of their customers so this concept of marketing rests on four major pillars first is the target market that is the target customers or the prospective customers who all would be interested in buying the goods of that particular marketer second pillar of this marketing concept is the customers needs that means there are certain needs which are stated and certain which are unstated so it is always better that marketers they to they should try to find out even those needs which are not stated by the customers but which if they get they will be delighted 
third aspect of marketing concept deals with the integrated marketing as marketing in itself involves several functions of advertising personal selling sales promotion public relations so integration of all these activities is a must similarly marketing does not stand alone in any organization it has to work in uh, cohesiveness with finance department production department hr department so it it is always better to have an integrated marketing to have a smooth flow of activities between all these departments and finally the fourth concept of marketing talks about the profitability which is the ultimate aim of any marketer because all business houses they undertake any marketing with the view to earn maximum profit and it will be possible only if they provide the goods that satisfies the needs and wants of the target customers so the marketing concept that we are talking about is this so important do we actually need it yes and it has become so important today due to the emergence of competition because nowadays so much competition is taking place and with the emergence of competition whatever segments we have chosen as our target markets the life cycle of the product is completing the so is is actually shortened so much that it is always advisable the marketers they should always be in a lookout for certain new segments certain new techniques that how they can uh, if if not end how they can beat their competitors also we can say due to slow sales growth because again due to maybe competition or due to other factors other environmental factors marketers they are always are constantly in the need of finding out that what new market segment they can enter so that they can enhance their sales growth similarly due to changing buying patterns of the customers due to technological innovations it is always important that marketers they should try and develop new and better means of satisfying their customers needs and finally as there has been an increase in the marketing expenditures of the companies it is always advisable that marketers they should try to find out the cost effective means or the ways that can help their company uh, to cut down their cost in a better manner now we can Uh, differentiate between the two concepts older concept and the newer concept of marketing which has been uh, we, which we have discussed so far that is the difference between the mar- marketing concept and the selling concept and this concept is very important as far as marketing management is concerned if you talk about the emphasis in case of marketing concept the emphasis are always on the customer needs and wants whereas in case of selling concept the emphasis are always on the product starting point in case of marketing concept is the prospective buyers or who all will be the target customers whereas in case of selling it is the factory because whatever goods have been produced in the factory from there on selling concept tries to build on their strategy to sell those products objective in both the cases is profit maximization but in case of marketing it is profit maximization through customer satisfaction whereas in case of selling concept it is profit maximization through sales volume because aggressive selling is undertaken if we talk about the means that how to achieve that goal in case of marketing as i have ta- talked about the integrated marketing so it is always advisable to have the coordinated marketing effort whereas in case of selling concept the means that could be achieved are the aggressive selling and sales promotion techniques and the advertising if they advertise more they will be able to uh, attract more and more customers if we talk about the planning span marketing deals with the long term planning whereas selling concept talks about short term planning underlying principles of marketing concept is caveat venditor or the vendor that is let the seller be aware whereas in case of selling it is gave it enter let the buyer be aware if we talk about the business philosophy marketing concept converts customer needs into product whereas selling concept is converting the product into cash approach in case of marketing is outside in because they take 
care of the needs of the buyers and they try to convert the needs into the product. Whereas in case of selling, the approach is inside out. Whatever goods have been produced in the factory, they are just concerned with converting that goods into cash. If we talk about the need and priority, in case of marketing, it is the need of the buyer which is taken care of, whereas in case of selling, it is the need of the seller which is being taken care of. Next differentiator is the firm's love. Marketing concept holds that customer is the king. So customer is the most important aspect. Whereas in case of selling concept, product is the firm's love. And they just try to convert their product into cash as soon as possible. Another differentiator is marketing mix. In order to build the marketing mix, buyer determines the shape of the marketing mix in case of marketing concept, whereas seller's requirement and their preferences will dominate as to what should be the shape of the marketing mix. If we talk about the technology, marketing concepts always emphasize on innovations and they try to provide better value to the customers by adopting better technology. Whereas in selling concept, the emphasis are on staying with the existing technology and reducing the cost. Distribution function is seen as very vital, keeping in view the conveniences and the focus of the customers in case of marketing concept. Whereas in case of selling, it is just a mere expansion of their extension of their production function. Consumers determine the price in case of marketing concept, whereas Cost determines the price in case of selling concept. And if we talk about the attitude towards customers, under the marketing concept, customer is viewed as the purpose of the business. They are the start and the end of the business. Whereas if we talk about the selling concept, customer is viewed as the last link in the chain. And whatever has been uh, produced and whatever has been un uh, undertaken till date, the sole aim is to make the product available to the customer so that they can convert their goods into cash as soon as possible. Another marketing philosophy that has been emerged lately is the societal marketing concept. Because of the advent of corporate social responsibility on the organizations, it has become very important that whatever marketing the companies are undertaking, they should be receptive towards the society at large as well. So this concept holds that organization's task is to determine needs, wants and interests of the target markets and they should deliver the desired satisfactions more effectively than the competitors, keeping in view the needs and society's well-being. So it is very important that the social and ethical considerations should be built in the marketing practices of the marketers unless and until they are keeping in view that what is right and what is wrong for the environment, companies in today's arena, they cannot be successful. Nowadays, companies they are coming up with or they are trying to practice cause-related marketing that means they are trying to provide the goods that are not harming the society in any way. Eco-friendly packaging. How to dispose of the package once the product has been used. The contents or the ingredients which are used in making the product. How far those contents are environmentally friendly. If we talk about the lights, LED concepts, 5 star rated products, they are being talked about in today's world because of the impact that they have on the environment. Global warming is increasing day by day and it is the need of the hour that marketers should take and try into consideration the society's well-being and accordingly they should try and build their products. If we try to summarize the entire concept of philosophies that we have discussed so far, we can say that marketing can be viewed, understood and interpreted from different orientations. Each orientation that we have discussed so far, be it production, product, selling or the uh, marketing or for that matter the societal marketing concept, they directly corresponds to one particular orientation towards the customer and towards the marketing task. This difference in orientation is the real separator and it is the entire crux of the philosophies that we have discussed so far. 
and the latest that have come up in the market is the holistic marketing concept this is something which is based on development design and implementation of marketing programs processes and activities that recognize their breadth and interdependencies it acknowledges that everything matters in marketing and the marketing should be taken as a broader in a broader perspective it has got four ingredients if we talk about this holistic marketing in a form of a diagram we can say that it incom- it comprises of internal marketing internal marketing is nothing which talks about the marketing department the senior management or the other departments of the organization holistic marketing takes into consideration the integrated marketing integrated mix of the communication services and the channels they discuss about the performance marketing which talk about the ethics environment legal and community and the relationship marketing which entails customers channels and the partners the first and the foremost component of holistic market is relationship marketing relationship marketing is nothing but it aims to build mutually satisfying long term relationship with the key constituents in order to earn and retain their business and nowadays if the if the marketers they are not into the relationship they are in they are not building long term relationship with their key customers they will not be able to survive in the market for a longer period of time so the four key constituents of relationship marketing are the customers employees channel members and the members of the financial community or the investors so it is always important that all these four key constituents they should be taken care of and strong relationships should be developed with them depending upon the needs depending upon the resources goals and desires of the organization and ultimate outcome of entire relationship marketing is the marketing network second component of holistic marketing discusses about the integrated marketing as i've already told you that it is always better uh, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts so it occurs when the marketer devices marketing activities to create communicate and deliver value for consumers so integrated communication should be developed appropriate media should be used and there should be a mix of television internet and other several media that are available which can complement each other similarly while developing an integrated channel strategy is required there should be a trade off between having too many channels or too few channels at the same time third component is the internal marketing it is nothing but the task of hiring training and motivating able employees who can serve the needs of the customers well and it one can succeed in internal marketing if all the departments they work in coordination with each other so as to achieve the customer goals there what we require in today's organization is the vertical alignment with the senior management and at the same time horizontal alignment with the other departments only then integrated marketing can take place another component of holistic marketing is the performance marketing what we require today is the understanding of not only the financial aspects but also the non financial returns which we are getting from the uh, business and the marketing activities companies they are going beyond their sales revenue and they try to find out the market share the customer loss rate customer satisfaction rate they are also considering several legal ethical social and environmental effects of their marketing programs on the society as a whole another important concept of marketing is marketing mix this is very important because the entire marketing the definition of marketing management that we have discussed in the beginning or the concept of marketing that we begin with is nothing but it is a mix or the uh, it is it comprises of certain elements of marketing system the f- most classic classification which has been given so far is by mccarthy and it has been referred to as four p's of marketing which includes product price place and promotion philip kotler has defined this term marketing mix as a set of controllable variables that the firm can use to influence the buyer's responses 
as we have talked about holistic market the breadth complexity and richness of marketing has been exemplified and now the marketing has extended beyond these four p's and it includes people processes and physical evidences also in their marketing mix the first p of marketing mix that is product is nothing but the idea good or service that the customer wants product decision basically deals with deciding the right product and the services which are to be marketed by the company and these decisions include decisions related to product features style design quality even for that matter product policy needs to be developed revolving around the basic product the branding decisions whether the brand needs to be registered that means trademark decisions once the branding decision has taken place that how to package the product how to provide labels on the packages and what all product support services needs to be provided so total product should satisfy the needs of the target market that is the main requirement of marketing second p of marketing that we need to discuss is the pricing decision it is very important decision because it involves deciding on the right price for the product one needs to be very cautious while deciding the price as pricing decision influences the sales volume and profits of the businesses unless and until the right price is determined through proper research and trust marketing product will we will not be able to sell our product in the market so certain decisions pertaining to price involves that what should be the basic price do we need to provide any discounts and allowances any form of rebates what should be the payment period what should be the credit terms for that matter and what decision needs to be taken regarding the resale price maintenance as we all know due to legalities that have come up into picture no product can be sold above the mrp which has been mentioned on the product and if any manufacturer or any marketer is selling the product above the mrp that can call for legal action against the marketer in the consumer forum consumer protection act or competition act for that matter these will all with all such issues related to retail price maintenance and resale price maintenance third component of marketing mix is the place or distribution it involves distributing the product from the place of production to the place of consumption or purchase certain decisions which need to be undertaken under place mix are channels that is whether to distribute through the intermediaries or the manufacturers they should sell directly their product to the customer because if they involve too many channels then every channel will add cost to the product and that final cost is to be borne by the customer so depending upon the type of the product depending upon the size of the product depending upon the demand of the product the availability of the product it is always advisable to take channel decisions accordingly Impo- another important distribution uh, decision which is to be taken by the marketer is the intensity of distribution coverage that means whether they want to make their product available in all possible outlets that are available in that particular market that is the intensive distribution or they want to go selective they want to make their product available in only selective retail outlets that is selective distribution or the marketers they want to set up their own exclusive distribution centers and they want to deal directly with the customers by eliminating all the intermediaries the final decision which needs to be taken care of is the marketing logistics which involves decisions related to how much inventory needs to be kept how the goods should be transported what should be the types of warehouses and how much warehousing should be done what should be the cost of each of these how much inventory should be stored so that at no point of time the marketer or the shopkeeper is getting out of stock fourth p of marketing mix is the promotion it is nothing but bringing the products to the knowledge of the customers and persuading them to buy the products 
so the promotion function is the function of informing and influencing the customers just to make them aware as to where the product is available and what all channels and through which what all outlets they can get their products promotion makes decisions involves decisions related to advertising how to advertise the product to the market it also involves decision related to personal selling that all those goods which needs to be sold through sales representatives how much personal selling effort should be put in then another promotion mix decision which needs to be taken care of is the sales promotion that means that whether uh, the marketer should go for customer promotional tools as we we can see that nowadays sales period is going on and we are getting buy offs price offs discounts so all these are the promotional tools which short term promotional tools which help the customer to buy more or for that matter uh, public relations and direct marketing all these are the promotional tools which needs to be taken care of another marketing mix p is the people people is not uh, they are nothing but the employees of the organizations or the internal marketing that we have discussed in holistic marketing also they are very critical to the success of any marketing because people can make or break the organization and companies they are involved in getting their staff trained in interpersonal skills and customer services because their main focus is customer satisfaction and at no, no point of time they want that their employee they always want that their employee should be happy should be satisfied so that they can retain their employees for a longer period of time another marketing mix variable in case of services is the processes processes reflects creativity discipline and structure which is brought to the marketing management they are the means to achieve an outcome and it is always advisable that there should be an integration of marketing process with other departments so as to create overall marketing process and finally we have the physical evidence that means the layout is very important because in today's uh, marketing business if we talk about the services or the say hotel industry unless and until the lighting or the color the furnishing the furniture for that matter all these tangibles they are very important and they are the key success factors of the hotel industry or the restaurants for that matter and unless and until the ambience is good the sound is the the lighting effect is good the food is good the service is good uh, no hotel industry can survive or they can be able to justify or satisfy their customers so physical evidence is very important that what layout the marketer is providing to their customers so in order to make this marketing mix effective it is always advisable that there should be a sustainable competitive advantage which could be achieved via cost leadership or differentiation and the focus should be on the needs and wants of the target customers similarly whatever mix a marketer is created it should keep into mind the customers expectations what are their generic needs what are their basic needs how far the mix that they have created it will be able to provide value to the customers and finally it is very important that integration of all the mix that we have discussed so far all the elements they should support each other because any decision that has been taken in one area will automatically have a bearing on the other areas as well so marketing management should be very careful that what mix they are offering to their customers thank you ma'am thank you so very much for giving us a precious session and the dear friends we believe that your feedbacks are important for us so do write to us at info.cec@nic.in the lecture is going to be uploaded on youtube soon keep watching us keep writing us we would be meeting again soon and would be discussing on another topic under the series marketing management thank you ma'am thank you so very much thank you ma'am